Hello everyone, it's Francis with your book of memories. I've got an incredible project that I didn't even make. <laughs> Welcome in friends. Thank you so much for joining me. I am so glad you stopped in. And if you're new, it's just wonderful to be here with you. This book was created by my partner, Shane. He's amazing. He completely created the book and decorated it 100% on his own, just for the first time ever. He's made several in the past, but this time he got to decorate his own book and complete the project. So right here, we've got P13, Once Upon a Time, Unbelievable Papers. I do have to say this is a European style take and it's amazing to see the way that he thinks so differently than me. And he created his own amazing little, oh my gosh, he knows how to weave baskets. So he did like a weave to this twine here and look at the cute little owl on the back. Beautiful reds and blues in this paper collection. He got a whole fussy cutting page as they always do. He decided to just put this on so you could slide it off and <laughs> got a cool little situation going there. I love how he put this brick paper here. He broke up the two designs and then got this little button in the top left corner over here and wrapped his spine. I am just so impressed with his style and wow, this is the beginner mini album version two and I'll leave a link to it down in the description if you wanted to make one yourself. Oh my goodness, we've got a nice four by six area right here and all of these are four by six images, okay? No cropping necessary, this opens up. And then you've got this. Now the way he decorated just blew my mind. Okay, you can hold about 30 pictures in this. We got a nice cut apart. Okay, look at this. Landscape, portrait, you name it, it's there. He decided to make a scenery and the night ends up moving and is part of the whole scene. So I just thought this was so cool. He pieced the papers together and just did an absolute fabulous job. Mind blowing, mind blowing. The owl, Red Riding Hood. Just, she's looking over at the castle, isn't that fantastic? This is something you can do. He cut this up just phenomenally. And he wanted to tuck this guy over so he's kind of in the foreground. Is that just not super amazing? Oh my goodness, Shane, you're just awesome. Okay, we've been together for 13 years. We met in high school. I never thought we would ever be crafting together, but this was just so much fun. I got to watch him just totally dive in. And look at this, he fussy cut around this beautiful rose here and made a corner using the design paper the way that he wanted. He saw an opportunity there and he also even used the, you know, right here, check this little, he did that to the page itself. How cool is that? Breaking it up, adding texture and dimension. Look at this four by six pictures here too. And you can of course stuff more in these pockets than we have here. We also have this gorgeous little cutout right here. Amazing. I just, there's something towards the back that just absolutely mind boggling what he did. He just totally looked at another scenery. Here we go. Opening this up. We got the horse. I stuck this little journaling card in here. The horse comes out on this photo mat. Of course you can mat this and you'll have a black border. Once upon a time, little journaling card there. You can even add another white mat on the back of that and stamp that or even make a little journaling spot there. How cute. This horse, he fussy cut around it. He's got a different fussy cutting style and I just love it. Just loved seeing and mess with all this. Look at these beautiful corners that we've got. I am just infatuated with these corners here. Okay, so that's the square punch and this cute scenery. You can stuff this little horse back in there. Oh my goodness, more pictures can fit in there. This knight right there brings the red out, kind of pops a new little color in there. And that's flips again. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Another fussy cutting leaving those leaves hanging over right over the picture. I think we might even put our wedding pictures in here. <laughs> when he made me his girlfriend, he knighted me <laughs> and told me I was his girlfriend actually. So that's a really special story. A little short story there for you. <laughs> I can totally see our, our pictures in here. Look at this. We had a very quiet wedding, nothing, nothing too fancy. And wow, love the use of the rose paper there. And he likes this dragon, like it's flying. Again, connecting the sceneries, just completely doing what he wanted to do with his book. I mean, there's so many times where I've seen papers that have large sceneries and I just didn't really know what to do. And now I've been inspired by him. This blew my mind. Look at the shape that he, that he created to kind of make his own layout image right there. Contrast beautifully with this navy blue. I'm that I think right there is when he wanted to keep the shadow in there and he just created his own little 
Isn't that fantastic? Oh my goodness, here we go again. And he, right here, right here on the back, these are the two most mind blowing things ever. He took complete control over his paper. This scenery isn't even a part of this page. He took two different pages together and completely scrapbooked them together. He didn't, he didn't want what was under this moon paper, so he decided to put the castle a little bit towards the end. So we have an intro of the castle in the beginning of the book, and then we have it at the very back. This, he has seriously done an incredible job. And if you wanted to see the tutorial for this entire design, you can go ahead and scroll down below. And if you've never taken a class with me before and you wanted to kind of warm up your fingers, I'll leave this one right up here for you. I would love to see you in class. Thank you so much for taking time to spend with me today. This is a very special project and just the beginning of Shane's fantastic books. Thank you everyone, and I'll see you next time. Bye.